your knitting and your crochet can be just like, you know, a bowl of mashed potatoes is what I say, or macaroni and cheese. You know, it's the thing you come to when you need something very comfortable. Teresa Wilson has owned country yarns in Snohomish for nearly 15 years, and the coronavirus pandemic isn't going to stop her from pressing on. When you isolate people, they need something. They need something comfortable. They need something they know about. They need something to bring them joy. Their knitting and their crocheting does those things, and I want to make sure that they can continue doing that. Through phone calls, good morning, country yarns, and emails, she's able to take orders. Put them in a package and either have them available to, you know, curbside deliver or I take it to their house, leave it on their front porch. How would business be right now if you weren't making these changes? It would be zero. Very close to zero. The table in her shop, typically used for knitting classes, has turned into a one person assembly line. She prints the order, fills the boxes, and places them together, ready to be delivered. I view this to be essential. I think this is important for people, and I am going to be here. I wouldn't give this up for anything, and I don't intend to give it up now. Not going to happen. In Snohomish, <laughs> Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.